What's up, guys? Woof woof. Hi, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Dylan. Today, we'll be reacting to this video. Using in my last video. So, it's already cut and everything. Before we start rearranging these pieces, let's make some measurements. We'll use centimeters. Okay, let's measure this side. It's seven point, let's see, seven point seven centimeters. So it's 17, exactly 17 centimeters. Let's write it down here. And it looks like this here. Okay, I'm gonna rearrange it now. So this goes here, and this one goes here. Like that. Now let's measure. I'm gonna still measure this one. Obviously, there can be no changes here. So as I see, it's 7.7 .7 centimeters, how it was before. And now let's measure this side. Like I said, it's a key side here. All right, it's 16.4 centimeters. Let's write it down. So now it looks like this, 7.7 .7 centimeters, nothing changed here. But this side, it's 16.4 centimeters. So as you guys can see, the difference is in 0.6 centimeters. And that's what the key is here. So what happens here is when you cut the chocolate this way and then when you rearrange these pieces over here, it creates this illusion that you have one chocolate piece extra. Because the cut is diagonal like this, it creates this illusion that this piece and that piece are equal. But they're not really. If you look closely, this piece is a little bit bigger than this one. And that's how this trick works. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Now you know how this trick works. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, this extra piece of chocolate is not really extra. I know I probably ruined someone's hope about oh, this extra piece. Amazing. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video and I see you next time. So guys, that was the trick of wealth if you like to prank your friends into thinking they're going to get a lot of chocolate. Bye! Bye!